Hi, my name is Gleb Alexander and welcome to another Blender tutorial. Today we're gonna talk about how to create a city covered with fog. And here you can see the result. We're gonna generate our city using the OpenStreetMap add-on for Blender, so let's download it. You can see the link in the description and activate it. After doing this, let's generate the OSM file of the city. Go to openstreetmap.org and I'm searching for Vilnius here because, you know, Vilnius is a great city to make the OSM file from. So let's click manually select a different area and uh, choose a rectangle, hit export, save the file, go to Blender and open it. Sounds very simple and it is simple. Just hit spacebar in Blender, search for street, then hit import OSM file, import it and enjoy the result. Now that we've got uh, the outlines of the buildings, we can extrude it. Hit Ctrl A, select everything and press E, then extrude it. After extruding, select everything and press recalculate normals uh, to get rid of the flipped normals. And now we need to randomize the height of the buildings. What I'm gonna do now is uh, to press select similar and select normal, to select all the top sides of the buildings, then hit Ctrl I to invert the selection and hit H to hide everything. Now hit spacebar and search for randomize and move the polygons uh, up and down. Then select another bunch of random polygons and repeat the process, you know what to do. Ok, after doing this, let's compose the texture atlas. For texturing, we're gonna use the photos of the facades of the buildings, and for that reason, we should do this big atlas in the image editor. Nothing special here, just go to CG textures, grab some facades and compose it. Then we need to unwrap uh, something like a thousand facades, but how? And it's a good question. But the easiest way to unwrap the bunch of objects in one go is to use a project from view. So select everything, press project from view, and then move uh, the UVs to match them to the building's photos. This is temporary unwrap, of course this is temporary. And we're gonna fix something, uh, but let's first do the roofs. For the roofs, let's use a smart UV project to get a fast unwrap. Once again, select the top of the buildings, uh, press select similar and hit normals. After selecting the roofs, press U, hit smart UV project, scale the thing in the UV image editor, and we are good to go. ta -da! It's time to set up the camera and get the good angle on this thing. Press Ctrl, Alt and Zero on the numpad uh, to align the camera to the view. Then hit Shift F uh, to get to the first person view mode. And pretend that you are playing Skyrim. And thank you Blender developers for this function. Ok, fine, so let's fix the UVs. We have made uh, the temporary stuff, so let's make the final tweaks. Select the polygons of the building, press U, hit unwrap and scale it in the UV image editor, place it. Standard procedure, we've done this thousand of times since the invention of Blender, so we should be okay with it. And don't forget about roofs, roofs should be unwrapped too. And after we are bored to death with unwrapping stuff, let's go ahead and actually add the details to it. Because right now our city is nothing more than a bunch of boxes, let's add a particle system to it. As you see here, I've modeled some simple low poly stuff, like chimneys and antennas. Let's distribute this junk across the rooftops. Select the roofs like we did before several times and separate selection. Now let's add a particle system of a hair type to it and uh, turn up the number of the particles. And actually I've created a group that contains all the details and uh, select it in the Doppler Grover layout. Press pick random 
to pick a random object from a group, set normal to 0 and tangent to 0 0.5 in my case. This is needed to align the low poly details and the roofs. Now tweak the seed value uh, to avoid the intersections of the models and to get the good placement of the details. And now it's time for the most exciting thing ever is to add a lighting and a fog. Cool, isn't it? So add a sunlight in the scene. Uh, direction doesn't matter much for now and let's set the size to zero. This value will provide the best result in case of the volumetric lighting, the most precise and noise free. And uh, now you can see that I created a cylinder, place it so that it covers the city. Oh, and note that the camera is positioned outside of the volume, because right now Blender cannot render the volumetric effects if the camera is inside the volume. So that's it, let's tweak the settings of the fog. Material of the fog is simple, just the volume scatter node plugged in the volume output of the shader. So now just play with the strength of the sun and with the density of the fog. In this scene, uh, the good value of the density is 0.002. And actually, to get the god rays effect, it's also necessary to crank up the anisotropic value of the shader. Okay, so when we strike good values of the shader density and the sun position, it's time to render it out. First, let's select the branch path tracing as a rendering algorithm, because in the branch path tracing we can tweak a different render samples separately. For example, to get rid of the noise in the volume lighting, we can just tweak the volume samples and the diffuse samples. Hit render and we should get something like this. Silent Hill City. And after some tweaking, we can achieve this kind of result. I've added some trees, some details, polished this thing. And yeah, it was Gleb Alexandro. Thank you very much for watching these quick, crazy and stupid tutorials. See you next time. Feel free to subscribe and share.